Generic greetings and welcome to Rise of Industry. This is a tycoon game where you will place different factories and gatherers and ferry stuff around, make items and then eventually sell it for profit to either towns or the individual stores or just far away cities, whatever. It's a game that's still in development. This is the Alpha 1.9, so the typical disclaimers apply of basically it isn't finished, there's going to be bugs, and that's why we're calling this a mini-series because I have no idea how long this is going to last. It might last a couple of episodes, it might last several, who knows, we'll have to see how it goes. We might go bankrupt, we might get bored, it might crash, the save might corrupt, anything could happen. So as I said, we'll see how this one goes. So we're going to go to custom game and we'll keep everything on default, but we're going to change the world size to medium and then have a seed as G seed, like that. So if you want to follow along, you know what the seed is. Links in the description for this game as always. And then we're going to click generate. We're not going to bother with the advanced settings or anything like that. It's all on default. Now, if you don't know how this game plays, then I have done a preview previously and I recommend you check that out. I will be going through this and explaining things as best I can, but maybe not as much depth as I've uh, done previously with the other previews. So uh, a lot of comments about uh, the last video that I did, the uh, when I was enjoying a nice beverage with this, Thing, uh, saying it's very jerky. Well, a lot of that is unavoidable because the scroll, it's no soft scroll. It, as you can see, it's very, very janky to different zoom levels. So yeah, I'm afraid I'll have to put up with that. But when you click left and right, oh, good grief, that's like WSD. It's very, very, very fast. So I'm going to try and use right click so it's a little bit better for you to watch. Other than that, there's nothing much I can really do about the other stuff. Now, as you can see, it says Public Alpha 1.9. I need to get this out of the way before we really crack on into this one. I am going to probably record most of these in one go, so I won't be able to take a lot of comments and feedback, if any, because there is a bug, or there has been a bug previously, where if you load the game, the towns, uh, specifically the grocery stores and such, they might change. So either the grocery could change to a library, or the stuff that they want will change, and that's something I don't, do not want to do if you set up an entire production line, and then it changes on load. Uh, that's not a bug I want to deal with. So... We'll see how it goes. Anyway, as you can see, we've got a lot of generic units of currency, and we're actually in uh, Willington. Oh, crap, one thing I need to check out is where is the edge of the map? Uh, okay, we're good. There was a bug previously as well where the road didn't go at the end, and you wouldn't be able to sell to other cities. So, uh, yeah, just make sure that wasn't that there. It says uh, world name here. We could change the name of the world, but we'll... Uh, Jerry G World? Uh, G World. Hang on. There we go. It's G World. Okay. So we're on G World, um, and what we want to do is probably set ourselves a task. Um, and I think it is get all of the resources to this grocery store if we can. So you want pies and cakes, or pies cake. You want meat, hamburgers, and oranges. Okay. So if we try to meet all of these, I think that'll be a nice little, a nice little, uh, a nice little starter. I think. Okay. So first thing to do, roads. We're gonna clicky clicky draggy draggy. Put some roads around the place like so, and then we're gonna go down to the edge of the map. Actually, probably two about there for now. And we're probably going to go for oranges first. Oranges being quite easy to gather because you just need an orchard. But in order to supply that orchard, you need, well, water. You need to be able to uh, water that thing. So we're going to go to uh, gatherers and then over to water siphon. And we will rotate rate that round, as you can see. And then we're going to slam it on the edge of the map. Actually, we would if we didn't place these there we go. I uh, placed the road a little bit too far. So rotate that round. You can see the blue bit is where the uh, water bit will go. And I actually want to place it where we can have a lot of gatherers in a row. But I don't think we're going to be able to have that. So we'll just place it there. And then we'll connect that up. And then we'll go along this side. And then we will add some harvesters. So the harvesters will go probably one. Oh, you have to hold shift. Two, three, four, and then rotate that around. Five. So they're all over the place, but you know what? Fine. It is what it is. And then we're going to run the road straight across, and then we'll connect these roads up like that. Now, obviously, we could have them uh, connected to each other, but I like the idea of them going along just because it's uh, different steps. Unpause it for just a moment, and then, yes, there we go. It now um, un errors. So all of these are the... Um, like these siphons, they'll siphon the water off, then it'll take over to this uh, plant here, and then it'll get rid of all the salt and stuff. And then uh, we'll take it to wherever we need it next, which is going to be, I believe it was, well, it'll be an orchard, won't it? So it'll be over in farms, and then the orchard, and we can place an orchard wherever we want, really. But I think I want to place it away from these trees, because we might have to, actually, are we going to be able to gather, are we going to need to gather trees? Um, pies, cake, meat, hamburgers, oranges, it doesn't matter. We're not going to be using this anyway, so what we'll do is we'll place the orchard around here here. Um, before anything else though, I want to get a road up and then along like so and then around because I want to have it um, 
I want to have it so the town doesn't expand too much. Uh, if it or if it does expand, I've still got a road network that I can navigate around rather than through. So there's that town sorted. Okay, so we'll have this go along like so, and then we will have the orchard in the centre. So over to farmed and then orchard, and we're going to place an orchard down in. Actually, there should be okay, should we, because we should be able to go to production, and we want to select an orange field, we'll set that, and then you need to add the fields, and the fields, damn it, I thought it was just a little bit too, I thought that was either going to be the right right uh, space, or just, uh, just off, so it is actually a little off, so if we delete that bit, we then go along for a second, connect that up there, and then go along like so. We can't even go up that way. That's a great shame. Uh, we also need to demolish that section there of the road. So what we'll do, we'll have the um, field like that. So we've got two fields. That's oranges. And we could put a couple more in. Do I really want a couple more? I think two for the time being is more than sufficient. We're actually going to run the road up and then like that. Although the road cannot go down these weird diagonal, diagonal bits. They're not even diagonal. They're... Uh, yeah, that. They can't go across that. Anyway, so this is now set up. As you can see, it's flinging up lots of areas because it doesn't have water. In terms of production, you have to put something in, something gets produced, and then you get the bit out. So this is one unit of water, and you get two oranges. So we're going to go over to our water siphon. And then we're going to go over to destination, select water, which is already selected there. We're going to assign three trucks to that. Actually, we only need probably two trucks, really. And then we'll go f to uh, select building, farms, and then the orchard, which we could change the name of if we really want to. You can change the name. This is or Orchard 1 Oranges. I don't mind doing that. I'm not going to go around and change it to like G Orchard or something like that because it's just going to be a bit of a nightmare and we'll end up forgetting anyway. So there you go. Right, so that is the oranges uh, sorted. If we click on the water siphon, you can see that we are now producing water. This is slowly going up and then once it gets to the end, these trucks will go along and deliver it to the water siphon, which will then produce water. Actually, I think it just it's automatically done. I don't think it's classed as a uh, treating it or anything but we'll see and then the truck will take well two trucks actually will take the water over to this orchard here and oh there's the trucks going uh, they're moving away all right and then they'll head in drop off all of the water with a splash and then they will well it's got water in there three water so it's probably going to take a while for oh no there's the trucks there there they go and then they're going to go inside that and then we should now be producing yes we're now producing oranges as you can see because we've got two fields and we've got two we've got two water going to it excellent that is producing quite well and then finally destination set oranges which it already is go over to uh commercial grocery one which is there's actually two grocery ones Hang on, nine tiles and 104 tiles. Oh no, there's not, of course. Uh, so this is grocery one, nine tiles away, set that destination, and then we'll just have one truck. We only need the one, we're not gonna overdo it, we're not gonna overload our roads. And then in the go, excellent, and that's in Wellington, nice. So, that's producing. So that is the very basic oranges. We then need meat and then pies, cakes and hamburgers. So meat is similar. However, it does require a little bit more effort in order to produce meat. So if we go over to our farms and then to livestock, I could place it down, but actually there's no real point because then I'll have to delete stuff. Essentially, if you produce meat, uh, you need either, I think it's, I think it's um, beef. I think, you can, I think you can have sheep, cows and chickens yeah something like that and you need to feed the animals so in order to feed the animals you will need to supply that uh, supply them with grain so what i'll do i'll connect these roads up here and then we're gonna have a farm the problem with this land is it's a, just a bit bit crap uh it's just a bit all over the place as you can see so i don't know what the best way of going about this would be B, where are we going to put a farm? Farm, mm, maybe around here. We could try and put it up here, but it's going to be a, lit, a little bit all over the place. But, uh, alright, we'll, we'll see what we can do. So we'll go to farm. We'll go over to the crop farm. And then, every time you right-click. This is why I didn't use right-click previously, because if you right-click, it cancels this. So this is going to be a crop farm, and we'll place a crop farm in here. And then we'll say production, wheat, and then we'll add 
the field. So we'll have a field there and then a field there. Okay, so there's that all set up. We'll also go to a highway and then well, we could put a highway around, but we'll not bother. Okay, so similar sort of thing. Water siphon. We'll go to destination, select the farm. It'll be the crop farm wheat and then we'll have two trucks. We'll have to buy another truck, but there you go. That's now set and obviously it's going to deliver water. That's then going to produce wheat. We're then going to take that wheat up somewhere where we can produce a lot of uh, meat. I'm going to keep this open at the back because we might need to expand this as we get more and more um, meat farms. Generic meat. I'm going to have a sheep and a cow and we're going to breed horses. Alright, okay, so we'll have a livestock farm and if I put it around here it will not really be very good to be quite honest. So we're going to place it um, I think about there should be sufficient and then we'll have a road and then we'll have the road going up and then along like so and that actually connects up quite well. Uh, we could go along and up here but there's no real need. Um, instead I will go along and then around like so because if we do need to take water to that which I believe we do then you know we'll know well we can come along here and that way instead of through the town which is um, yeah what's currently happening. In terms of the supply we should be able to well we should be sending oranges there as well which is good. Um, we will now go over to this livestock farm. It says no field chosen and we'll say production. We've got chicken, cows and sheep. So chickens make you meat and eggs. Cows is meat, milk and leather. And finally sheep is meat and wool. So... And they all require one water and one wheat. So actually cows are better for our purposes, I believe. Um, oh, actually it depends. It really depends because... We do need to make pies cake, and I think pies and cake require pastry, and pastry, I believe, requires eggs. And milk, maybe. Uh, okay, let's look at the factories then, and we'll say it'll be a food factory. We're just going to slam a food factory down for now, and go over to production and set pies cake, which requires dough milk and eggs. So we're actually going to need both. We're going to need both a chicken farm and a, um, a chicken farm and a, uh, what's the term? Cattle farm, that's it. I was going to say a cow farm, but <laughs> it's not entirely correct. Right, let's connect that up. So we'll set some fields up. So we're going to have, this is a chicken field. And we'll add some chicken, which would be a massive coop. Um, I guess we could place it there and there, could we? No, we can't because of one tile. Can we do it that way? One and then two. Nope, it's one tile again. Dandy. If it was, if this was one further down, we'd be able to fit it in. Ah, well. We've got money to burn, why not? <laughs> we don't have money to burn. It's far from it. Uh, that's wrong. That's very wrong. Connect that road up there. Delete that. Back up the farms. Livestock. And we'll place it there. Okay. And then chicken. Add the fields. So one field. Two fields. I mean, I'm not a farmer. I come from a family of farmers, but that is definitely not chicken. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be cows. Because of the horns and stuff. I'm not saying that other animals don't have horns. Oh no, it must be a goat. Oh, they're climbing the top of the windmill. It must be a goat then. Right, okay, so we'll go... <laughs> Over to production. It's on chicken field. Yeah, we've got two chicken fields. That's fine. You can actually set... Uh, oh, no, you can set... Yeah, you can actually change it to cow field as well, but you can only have the one. You can't set... So you have both, which is... Um, I don't know if that's a regional thing. You know, a lot of farms do have a bit of everything, or can have a bit of everything. Anyway, so we'll go over to the water siphon, and as you can see, the destination is already set for this. So uh, we've only got one destination left. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to add another water siphon because I'm going to need to add one anyway. So I think it would be worth us adding another one while we're on here. And then we'll be able to hopefully have all of the ones we need. One, two, three. Oh, this is going to be difficult. Three, four, five. That's ooh, only just fine. So what we'll do, we'll have this road running right along. Then we'll connect these up like so. One, two, three three, four, five, and then finally that to the end like that. So that's going to take it to the water. Siphon two, that's fine. And then we'll set a destination of two trucks, water over to the farms, which will be the livestock farm chicken. There we are. And then we probably need a livestock farm of um, cows. So we'll go for a farm. 
and livestock farm and we'll place it I think probably there and then we will go over to production cows add a field we should be able to get two fields in here if my calculations were correct they were correct which is surprising and then we'll connect the road up to the end like so and then finally water siphon destination buy a truck two of the trucks assigned over to farms and then to livestock farm cows and then that should be two trucks going over there now obviously there's going to be a lot of load balancing we need to do and things like that but for the time being we're just going to crack on and do what we can so that water siphon in terms of storage has 50 water there so that's more uh, than enough really at, in terms of supply there we've got 15 in storage in here it actually got seven oranges in storage so what I'm going to do is go over to destination add another truck in there we've already got three trucks so there's no reason not to add all three trucks I guess and uh, this crop farm wheat is now making wheat yes it is as you can see there's uh, 15 wheat there so we will set the destination of wheat to trucks and we'll set it to the farm of livestock chicken and finally uh, buy a truck and then set two trucks to a destination of the cow farm and now we will send trucks from the crop farm one wheat over to the livestock farm one chicken and livestock farm two cows mm. actually they don't do that they go moo right okay and just in case you didn't know, just in case you didn't have one of those kids' toys, um, <laughs> that uh, chicken goes, bah, hang on, that's wrong. This is the pound shop version, it doesn't work properly. Anyway, so, in terms of groceries, we are sending, at the moment, just oranges, but we will be producing now meat, but not hamburgers and not pies cake. So what do we want to produce first? Now, we have done pies and cake before, so I think we'll go for hamburgers, but for the time being, you can see that we are producing one meat and one egg, whereas the livestock farm is one meat, one milk, and one leather. I think what we'll do, we'll go for the chicken, and we'll say destination of meat to the commercial building grocery one, and we'll have one truck taking meat from that chicken farm down to there, which is now supplying meat. So, so far, oranges and meat. So, we're two of four. Not bad. But as you can see, not very expensive. 600 generic units of currency, 1,350 generic units of currency. The money is in pies cake as well as hamburgers. So, hamburgers. We need to know what is required for a hamburger. I'm guessing, I'm guessing meat of some kind, or unless it's a meat product, or a meat substitute, so like corn or other generic non-meat uh, product available. Uh, so we want a food factory, and I should have really kept it here to be quite honest with you. So factories, food factory, spinny roundy, and we'll place it in here. And we'll say production. Pies, cakes, hamburgers. Hamburgers requires dough and meat, and then you make a hamburger. Pies, cake requires dough, milk, and eggs. So actually, what we'll do, we'll make dough, because we need dough anyway. So dough requires two wheat, one water, one dough. Oh, well, you get one dough out of it. So this water siphon, we've got a destination, factory, food factory one. My two more trucks, assign that there. This... Our wheat farm is already not going to be producing enough. So we're going to set the food factory up there, buy two more trucks, set that away. And then what we'll do is add fields because we do need at least, I reckon, I reckon at least two more fields for that. But obviously we're then going to need to supply more water to it. So we'll go to destination, wheat, let's buy two more trucks. There we go. This is where... Oh, we've got 67 water. That's fine, then. We've got more than enough water coming away there. So, this is now producing dough, as you can see. So, we then need to produce uh, pies and... Pies and burgers, I guess. But, I think we will leave it there. Not a bad first episode at all, I don't think. That's um, quite okay. We're producing two of the four things required here, the requested goods. Once we've done this, which hopefully next episode we should have it sorted. Um, hang on, they've already got a door factory up and running. This is not my door factory, this is just something that the town has produced, and it does seem to be... Uh, oh, it's, it's just sending it to the wholesaler. Because you can send anything to the wholesaler, which just takes everything, I believe. Yeah. So it's got wheat, 
It's got other things because that's a wheat field there. That's not my that's not my crop farm. I didn't place that. That's someone else's. So the wholesale is just buying it. Uh, actually, it's a, it's stocking it. I can then buy it if I really want to. So I can select building and then you can buy it from elsewhere. You see. So if you you've got a shortfall, you can use the wholesaler. So once we've done that, we'll probably go over to uh, this place here, uh, which is Wick, Rissington. And that requires hamburgers, oranges, meat, and milk. Actually, you know what? We probably won't do that because we've already done that over there. We'll probably go quite far away to Snod. Uh, and that will be... Hang on, let's have a quick look. Uh, grocery one. Uh, canned fish. Yeah, that might be a different one. What we're really looking for is a town that requires some, like, heavy goods. So, mm, nah, it's still grocery. We want something like a library. There's a grocery. No, is there? Is that a library around the place? Hmm. Grapes. We want something that's requiring like um, oil and things like that, and we'll use some trains. But uh, nah, it is what it is. Right. We'll leave it there for now, and the next episode we will crack on. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings. <laughs>